Wrestling fans are upset. And it all goes back to this one guy, the big super villain himself from the 1900s apparently, Mustachio McMahon. Vince McMahon came back into the fold with WWE after it was announced that Endeavor is going to be merging WWE, UFC together under the same umbrella. And because of this, wrestling fans are, well, they're a little upset. Not because of the merger, but because of the fallout of WrestleMania 39. What ended up happening was that the Raw After Mania is typically a big show. Now in the last couple of years, I'll tell you, the Raw After Mania have not been that great. To me, they haven't been filled with surprises and crowds taking over and chanting for their favorite stars and starting off new feuds that are gonna fuel things for a few months. They've been a little lackluster, especially in the final years of McMahon running creative. And this year, after WrestleMania 39, I think fans were pretty excited for Raw After Mania. I know I was, because here I was sitting thinking, okay, we got Triple H, you got King of Kings, he's in there, and he's gonna be running the show. He's gonna be giving us brand new stars, NXT call-ups, he's gonna be pulling out all the stops, creating new storylines for us going into the summer. And we got none of that. And the reason we got none of that, as it's been reported by Fightful Select and multiple outlets, Vince McMahon had the headset, the supervillain was in there, and Mustachio McMahon was taking control of Monday Night Raw. And it's been reported online that there were multiple rewrites for segments, segments were dropped, female superstars were supposed to be on the card that night, and those matches got scrapped, and Bailey didn't get to come out with damage control, and there's a whole lot of shenanigans going on with Monday Night Raw. Raw After Mania was flat from a fan's perspective. It didn't deliver. It was full of talky segments. There were no stories. The only storyline that they did push through was going to be Cody and Brock. However, being a Raw After Mania, the ratings were good. But it's Raw After WrestleMania in LA. You have the most hardcore fans at the event, at the arena, and you have your largest audience setting their eyes on what's gonna happen next. So Raw After Mania, even with it being a complete dud, in, as this episode was for so many fans, it can still pull a good number because of the anticipation, excitement, intrigue of the Raw After Mania. According to Wrestling Observer, Raw After Mania beat expectations with a 2.26 million viewers and a 0.76 ratings in the 18 to 49 demographic. The Wrestling Observer writes that it was the second biggest Raw audience of the year, trailing only the Raw 30th anniversary episode. So it did well. It performed very, very well for an episode of Raw. But that's not what fans are looking at. Fans are looking at the fact that as the report stated, Vince McMahon was running all of Monday Night Raw. And this has fans very, very concerned and upset that Vince is going to be stepping in and taking charge of creative going forward. Now, when CNBC did the interview with Ari Hawani and Vince McMahon talking about the merger, Scott Wapner, the interviewer, asked Vince McMahon if he was going to be essentially stepping in to creative and taking control over the product from a you know regular basis. Vince kind of evil chuckled at this, but stated that he is essentially going to be involved in big picture storylines, but that he was, quote, not going to be in the weeds. I think Monday Night Raw proved that he was deep in the weeds and he was also in the shed and riding the lawnmower. He was doing everything. Here's the hope, and we're gonna talk about hashtag fire Vince in just a second. Here's the hope with all of this, is that Vince McMahon was at Monday Night Raw because he was already in LA for WrestleMania. Rumors are, it can't be confirmed, the rumors are that Vince was running WrestleMania night two, Triple H was heavily involved in night one. Night two had Brock Lesnar, Omos, and night two felt I think a little bit off for a large portion of the audience. There were some injuries and there were some moments of shenanigans like Shane McMahon blowing out his quad and Shane McMahon showing up in general and not giving us LA Knight, yeah. Huh? Or Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania night two. But because WrestleMania was happening in LA, Raw was in LA, there is the possibility that Vince McMahon just, he was already there and he wanted to have a good time. And so it went from Triple H running Monday Night Raw to transitioning through the night of Vince fully taking over and running the show. And hopefully, hopefully this means for fans like myself and like you, it's a one-time thing where Vince just popped in and decided I wanna have one last gas, one last run, running the show, brother, getting the pencil, and Mustachio McMahon running wild. Hopefully that's the case. We are about to find out for Friday Night SmackDown and give us a better idea if this is true or not. 
as Friday Night Smackdown is coming from Portland. And because of all of this going on in the community, fans have been going on to Twitter after Raw, and we got the hashtag Fire Vince trending globally, and it's picked up steam across news outlets too. Not only is the hashtag been trending and getting some traction, but on WWE's digital show, The Bump, there's clips running online that the live chat during their show was dominated by fans just putting in the comments, fire Vince. Now, does Vince McMahon care about this? No. Does this impact his day? No. He's done interviews and he's been on like Pat McAfee's show where even Pat asked him the questions about how do you deal with, you know, fan backlash and things like that. And, and Vince's general attitude towards it was that he doesn't give a crap and he doesn't focus on it. And nor should he. He's a billionaire. He's a billionaire three times over. However, this is not a good look for WWE and it's not a good look for Endeavor. Now, maybe Endeavor does not care about this, but you gotta think, they are in the process of merging these companies. Nothing has been finalized, but because we're dealing with publicly traded companies and this is all in motion, they have to legally announce that this partnership, this merger is going to happen. But if you're Endeavor and you just got WWE and you also put Vince McMahon in the chairman position and based off of all the reports of Vince's deal as the chairman, number one, he doesn't have full voting power anymore. He doesn't have full control over the whole organization Endeavor does. The other thing is that based off of reports from like Fightful, Vince has a two year agreement with them. And once this gets finalized, Endeavor could release Vince McMahon six months, a year from now if they wanted to vote him out because they have the majority seats for an 11 seat board between WWE and Endeavor and it's six to five. So if they have all the voting power and they have all the seats and they're all on the same team, they could vote Vince out if they really wanted to, if things are getting bad. We should also not dismiss the fact that there are still potential allegations, legal issues going on with Vince McMahon. He just settled huge multi-million dollar settlements for all of his shenanigans recently. And that's what took him out of WWE to begin with. Now he's back with the dyed hair and the weird face and the mustache and getting right into creative control, which is what fans are really concerned about today. And I do think Endeavor needs to be concerned with this. This deal is in the process of finalizing. They're gonna be watching everything very, very closely in my opinion, to make sure that this is all gonna go smoothly. And if there's a ton of public backlash of Vince McMahon being back in control and back in creative and ratings tank, it could impact not the deal itself, but the perception and Endeavor may have to make some moves to get Vince out of the public scene. It was just this past summer with all the allegations and everything. It has not been that long, but this deal is gonna happen. And does Vince or Endeavor care about the ratings? Probably to a degree. If they have SmackDown Raw for the next couple of weeks or months, really start to take a nosedive and we're talking about going from 2 million to 1 million. Yes, I think that's gonna be concerning for the networks especially. And then Endeavor and WWE are also gonna be concerned about it. Will that happen? We are really gonna have to wait and see how all of this turns out. If fans truly are upset and following the Fire Vince hashtag and are gonna be revolting on SmackDown and Raw and all of that, like we had moments of during the era of Daniel Bryan, where fans were just really sick of how the product was being presented to them. If we're seeing things and staples of Vince McMahon's booking and creative decisions, I think fans are going to get loud. They are gonna get noisy, but I don't think WWE is gonna care that much. I don't think Vince is gonna care that much. The TV deals are up for renewal in the next year. Negotiations are in theory going to be starting very, very soon. And if they stay with USA and potentially stay with Fox, they're looking at multi-million dollar deals for multi years. And they're not necessarily gonna care about what the ratings are doing. Again, unless they're significantly tanking and if it's the public perception is truly terrible, that's when I think Endeavor, the networks and WWE are forced to look at it because the public perception is so bad. And I think for Endeavor, they just want to get this deal going. They're just finalizing it. I don't think you want bad public perception and bad publicity right now while you are trying to finalize this giant deal. So my question is, what do you think is going to happen long term? Is anything going to happen? Are fans just going to simply put up their hands and go, okay, we were mad for a week and now it just is what it is. Do you think that this is a one-off for Vince and that he won't be at SmackDown on Friday in Portland? But I'd love to know what you think about this topic. I think it's super interesting for wrestling. It's a very interesting critical time for WWE as well. 
And I think because it's post WrestleMania, all eyes are on the product and we're hyper focused right now with what Vince McMahon, Mustachio McMahon is possibly doing with the company. Friday is going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.